Uber, and other transportation network companies, including Lyft, shut down their service in Austin um, in a, basically a standoff with the local government. If you say you actually want to be regulated, um, what is it going to take to fire that back up and make it work in Austin? Well, we were regulated in Austin. Uh, the types of regulations that we have in California, in Chicago, in many parts of South Florida now. So we were regulated. And then, you know, I think some city council people at the behest of the taxi industry tried to come in and, and add a whole bunch of barriers to entry that would essentially turn us into a taxi. So we had a referendum uh, that we lost. We're grateful for all the people who came out and voted. Now, the ballot language, I think the Austin American Statesman described it as the bureaucratic equivalent of a triple or quadruple negative. When I first read the ballot language, I wasn't sure which way I was going to vote. So this was not on the level. Um, but we figured we'd fight uphill battle, try and see if we could win the election. We didn't. So now we see service as has Lyft. And at the end of the day, you think about a city like Austin, uh, I think probably three quarters of our drivers drive two, 10 hours a week or less. A lot of artists, a lot of writers, a lot of people looking to piece together income. And you've got the University of Texas. And the impact on reduction of DUIs has been tremendous. So we're hopeful over time uh, there'll, there'll be a way back into the market, which we think is very important. But that's important. There's a principle here. If you establish too high of barriers to entry, you're not going to have enough drivers. So in Houston, Texas, where we have said if the regulations don't change, because there are very burdensome regulations, Lyft does not operate there. Why? Because basically, we're having to operate like a taxi company. So in Houston, Texas, which is the fourth biggest city in the world, in the United States, it's the only city we cannot meet demand at bar closing time. Can't get close. So too many people are still driving home. And we probably have a quarter of the drivers we should. Why? If you ask somebody to go through eight or nine different hoops, take time off work, it's basically got to be a career for them.